What's up? My name is Mike Yakovlev. I'm a professional 2D and now 3D artist. Um, I've been freelancing for about 10 years and using Blender since 2.8 came out. One way I've found that's been really helpful for me in learning 3D is going around and looking at stuff and trying to model it. Now I know that seems like pretty straightforward and simple, but I think it's a really great way to kind of get yourself to practice and make stuff and not think about it too much. And it's really, really that simple. I always kind of struggle with finding cool things to sculpt or finding cool things to make, but sometimes this best way to learn is to start simple. And nothing is more simpler, in my opinion, than with the stuff that's around you. So in this video, we're gonna be modeling this plant. A lot of times plants have a lot of stuff going on with them, but this one seemed pretty simple and pretty approachable. So I'm gonna show you my thought process on how I decide on what to model and how I break it down in my mind. So here we have a picture of a fiddly fig. The first thing I notice is this pot, a very basic shape. It's really just a cylinder. The stem, just a skinnier cylinder. And then the leaves, you just have to find the key shape. And I mean, this is a good idea of what the shape looks like. You know, the leaves themselves, they kind of have a bit of a bend to them and they have more ruffles and things like that. And I don't really go too into that. I don't think you have to. And if you're doing this like I am, which is just for practice, which is just for kind of therapeutic nature of taking your time with art you know and not worrying about deadlines or quality or anything like that and you're just trying to model the stuff around you i think this is a great way to start now that i know what basic shapes i'm going to use i start looking at those shapes and getting them in blender i start with the pot it's a cylinder and I, I i shape it up a little bit but nothing too extreme then i go right into making the dirt and from the dirt comes the um, the trunk of the plant again keeping it all really simple not doing anything too crazy with it when I go into making the leaves, I get that basic bell shape that we saw in the drawing. And I start using techniques like vertice beveling. That's, I think, Control-Alt-B on the keyboard. And that lets you bevel a vertice, which is what I'm doing here. Uh, because it's a flat plane, it's not a solid shape. So once, I ha once I'm pretty happy with that, I just go through and I duplicate the shape over and over and start aligning it along the stem. And I just kind of take my time and arrange them in a way that looks right. One thing I'll add, this isn't necessarily gonna be a game asset or anything like that. It's just for practice. But the UV maps and the geometry flow and all that kind of stuff, that's not important to me. And so I'm not really worried about that too much. A lot of times 3D modeling can be very intimidating if you're learning to make a game asset. You know, there's a lot of optimization that goes on there. Everything from textures to geometry to UV maps and all of that at once can be really intimidating. This is just for putting in the hours and learning the program and getting familiar with everything. When I do the textures, I try to keep them really simple, just like how I'm keeping all the shapes really simple. Sometimes using photo textures is a really quick way to get a really realistic look without spending too much time on it. I bring in an image texture of some bark, a leaf, and some dirt. And those are really the key components. And Working this way really can help you keep the scope small and can help you finish the product and actually have something finished at the end of it instead of something that you're never going to finish. Because you can always come back to it, you know, this is your this is your personal artwork. You can come back to it at any time and revisit it and remodel it and update it all day long. But I think if you do want to learn how to start modeling and finishing stuff and start building up that practice, you're going to have to learn not only how to start making artwork, but also how to finish it. At the end there, I noticed that the, the, the trunk isn't really looking the way I wanted it to. I thought I'd try doing a displacement map. So I would go into the modifier, give it a displacement map, and then pick a cloud texture, make it really big so that it's not as sharp and uh, gives it that wobbly look. And that's how I got that stem. And that's how I made the plant. So I hope this video was enjoyable. If you have any comments or questions, definitely feel free to let me know. And I will see you in the next video.